So recently, Tony and I got a new puppy, Pixel, and we took pictures of her. And some of you asked us how we got the pictures, so we're gonna show you some general tips on getting photos of dogs, and then walk you through a little photo shoot with Pixel here. Hi, Pixel. How are you? The first thing that we did was we set up the studio and then we brought her into the space and we played with her here and made her comfortable and tired her out a little bit. I'm sure people tell you this all the time, but are you a model? Dang, you been working out, Pixel? You're looking jacked. Oh, you're a tough lady, huh? You're way prettier than your sister. <laughs> you're not that strong. You're just not that strong. What? You're supposed to be building confidence. If you have an older dog, you might want to do the same thing. Sometimes the light stands and everything that can be unfamiliar and a little bit scary. And if your dog's scared, it's going to show in the pictures. So get them comfortable and make them happy. I think that she's pretty comfortable. We played with her. I have some treats here just in case she gets upset. She can be a little bit afraid of heights, but I need to put her up here so that she's on level with this light here. We have a beauty dish with a diffuser on it. Our model just left. Oh, such a diva. Come here, your job's not over yet today. So Tony and I are gonna take turns taking pictures and wrangling. Tony, I want you to be the wrangler first. Okay. And we're going to give her a treat when she's up here, she's young. I just wanna reassure her that she's doing a good job and show her that it's okay. So here's a piece of a treat and you can put her right up here and I'll get in position for the photo. And I'll want her looking towards the light. You can't direct a dog to look at the light, so I'll either be, I'll be moving in front of the light a little bit, and then I'll be making sounds to get her to look towards the camera. Whoa, what a good girl. Give her some treats so that she's nice and comfortable. You wanna think about the mood of the photo as well. So Pixel is young, and this is her little pink blanket. I wanted it to just be bright and simple since she's so small, and I knew that I couldn't have a black background or a white background because she is very bright white and very deep black and I just didn't think it looked good with her colors. So I chose this light pink. It's not too distracting of a color and a simple small background. I think it fits her. She's just small. You want her sitting? Uh, yeah, towards the front of the chair would be better just so we have a little separation from the background. Do you want there to be a crease in here or do no, you want it like I this? I want to try it like that first. Okay. And then she has one little white piece of hair in front of her eyes, so I'm just going to try to fix that now because it won't fix easily in post. Hi. Pixel. That looks good. Good. Pixel. Good girl. I'm just double checking my light. Oh, and wait, she's set up. I'm playing with my focal length because if I'm wide angle and get close, that's going to exaggerate her features, but show more background. If I zoom in, it's gonna flatten her features a little bit, but kind of blur the background and simplify it a little bit more. If you'd like your background to be more blurred, move your dog farther away from the background. You can't just use a shallow depth of field because you want their eyes to be in focus, but you don't want their nose to be too out of focus. Good girl. If they start to get anxious or tired, just give them a treat or play a little bit. If you have an older dog that knows their commands, that's easier. Pixel's only like eight weeks old, so she knows how to sit and that's just about it. She's almost nine weeks old, you know. I'm just using the treat to kind of guide her attention. Keep it as close to the lens as possible. You can make her look up a little bit if you want some more catch light in her eyes. Can you move her down a bit? over here? like a little remote control for a dog. Now, I have to say, she's being pretty good. Our other dog, Sandy, will not tolerate the studio. She goes absolutely crazy. She just starts jumping everywhere. We can make her sit, but then she's got this look on her face like, I'm supposed to be sitting. And that's not really the look that I want from my dog in a picture. So I'd recommend if you have a dog that really does not like the studio or staying still, work with it. Show their personality, take them outside, throw, have someone throw a ball and get low and capture that. Our friend Erky took a picture of our dog Sandy at the beach, one of her favorite places. And it came out really nice and it captured her natural personality. That's something I'll probably do with Pixel when she's a little bit bigger. But like I said, if your dog doesn't tolerate a studio or if you want a more environmental shot, 
Just take them outside and let them be themselves. The short flash duration is freezing pixels motion, but if you're not using a flash or a strobe, you'll want a faster shutter speed so that you can freeze the dog's motion and not get any motion blur in the eyes or any crucial elements of the doggo. When you're taking your pictures, you can get low and get kind of a dog's eye level, or you can get up higher and shoot down on them and kind of, if they're small, accentuate their smallness by making their head larger and their body smaller using forced perspective. Do you want to try that, Pixel? You're so small. Pixel. Wow, look, look, look Put it right that. over her head. Good girl. So that's it. If you're impressed with Pixel here, give her a thumbs up down below. If you'd like some more photography tips, of course you can subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and check out our book, Stunning Digital Photography, for more photography tips and tricks.